Yo guys, how you doing? Welcome to the second epic Photoshop tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to cut things out from a picture on Photoshop. Now a lot of people have been wondering this and they've been asking me for this on request on in quite a lot from my inbox. And I didn't know, I thought it was pretty basic. So I've got two ways to show you. One really easy way which takes a couple of seconds and one way which is longer. So what we're going to do is first off I'll show you the longer way, the more professional way and I'll be cutting out this rhino here on the left ha right hand side this one. Oh yeah look at him he's like mean and stuff alright then so let's get to work first things first what you want to do is so double click the layer to unlock it and this will help you with anything and then on the bottom right hand side there should be like a grey rectangle with a white circle in it and click that once and that's called the layer mask and you'll see what it does in a second alright once you've done that you want to go to the brush tool and you want to put on 10 pixels and the hardness you want to put on 0% this will give it like a nice soft texture to the brush so you don't have to be too accurate that's the good thing with this the more you zoom in the better it will be, the more precise, and the longer you take, the more professional and better it will be. So what you want to do is make sure your background colour is white and your foreground colour is black. And then start to outline the picture like this. As you can see, it started raising it. And what you want to do is you just want to go around the rhino. And it, look, I've gone into the rhino a little bit, but that doesn't matter because we've zoomed in. I think we're at 180% zoomed in. That's a lot. That's that is quite a lot. So the more you zoom in, the better it will be. But you look, you don't have to be straight or nothing. You just make sure you have to go around the rhino like this, and that's it. You just got to keep doing that for now, all around the rhino. Make sure you've gone in and out, like in between his legs and things, <laughs> just to make sure you don't miss any parts out or look dodgy, because it'll just be like a bit of grass by his ass or something, because you've missed it out. <laughs> So yeah, this all you gotta do is pretty easy so far, but then you gotta do some other stuff to make it look better. So I'll just skip some of the video now. Okay, so this is the bit I'm talking about, like this little bit in between his feet. You wanna go around them or whatever you're doing, like if it's a race car you wanna go in between the alloys and things like that. So at least then you don't miss anything out and it looks good. So carry on. Okay, so now I've gone around the whole rhino. Let's zoom out and look at it. See, because we've zoomed in, you can hardly tell. 10 pixels is pretty small, but it does depend on what picture you're using. So if you're using a really small picture, then you don't want to really do this tutorial, especially if the background's like all black. But this has got a mixed background, so you want to do this. And I'll be showing you a tutorial in a bit of how to do a really simple, quick one if the whole background is the same color. And this is really useful for things like if you, you want to do some photo manipulation, like cut yourself out and put yourself in a different place. If you ain't got a green screen or something, or you're making a signature for a forum, or I don't know, whatever you want to do it for. But this works out, this is really good, this is like the pro way of doing it. Alright, so what you want to do now is, remember we made that layer mask earlier at the start, well you want to click on that, alt click on it and this is what should happen, you should be able to see this and remember it's alt click, it won't work if you just normally click on it and you should be able to see uh, this rhino, like the, uh, the outline that you did and it doesn't matter if there's lines coming off it, like there's one by his foot, you won't be able to see that anyway so what you want to do is go to select, modify and expand and do it by 5 pixels and what it should do is like make it smaller and tighter so it doesn't matter if you did go too far out or too far in the rhino this will neaten it up anyway and then what you want to do is alt click again and this is what should happen you get your rhino picture again and what you want to do is press control and x to cut the rhino out now there you have it he's out look you can see the outline looks pretty good and then just press control and v or edit and paste and there's your rhino. Look, da di da di da. And as you can see, it's a pretty neat cut all the way around his body. His feet are a bit sharpened, but that's because in the picture you couldn't see the bottom of them. Um, but yeah, look, it fits perfectly again. And then what you choose to do with it is up to you. I don't know why I'm walking over to his little kid rhino or something. But here's some examples of what I chose to do with it with my creativity. 
All right, one's going to be a really new picture, and then one's going to be a pretty pro, um, professionally edited one. All right, here we go. Bam. Okay, so this is the rhino that I have made, French rhino I call it, it's in black and white, and here's some French music to go with it. Okay, so here's the second one. It's a really quick version. So look, I've got this iPod and it's all black. So what you want to do is go to the eraser tool and keep it clicked down, keep it pressed down with the right click and click magic eraser tool. Yes, it is magic. And just click on the black background and that's what happens. It just goes away. Everything that's black around it. Oh yeah. And then what you want to do is start neatening up the images on the sides. And once you've done that, it looks pretty good. Look, see? And that literally took me about 10 seconds. So if you don't want to spend minutes or how hours or days on it, I don't know, you might want to be some pro. But if you just want to do a quick version and it's only like one background colour, like this was black or it's just red or white or something, that's a quick way to get rid of it. This is wicked, I always use it, everyone always uses it. But as you can see, it's a little choppy, look, can you see the headphones and that? But it's pretty good for like round objects, which I will show you now. Okay, so I've done the magic eraser tool with this background. And as you zoom in, look, it's really nice. All the pixels are clean. It's not very choppy. So for objects like this, it's awesome. This just had a white background with it. I got it off Google Images. So yeah, and then look, you can put a background on it to see how choppy it is. And look, it's pretty neat. It is very neat, actually. You can even see the shine on the ball. It's been kept. So that is awesome. That's a quick way to do it if you just want to do small objects. Okay, now I'm going to tell you some awesome secrets about websites, guys. Get ready. Okay, so for renders, you want to go on planetrenders.com. And renders are pictures that have already been cut out for you, such as game characters, cars, or anything. Planet Renders is awesome because, look, it's got loads and loads. It's got pages and pages of renders that people have cut out for you. All you have to do is use the magic eraser tool. Okay, guys, but my personal favorite is deviantart.com. I will put the links in the description. This is awesome. It's just professional. This website's got everything on it, fonts, anything, renders and everything. Look, here's some renders. This is a really high quality render that has been cut out from Dragon Ball Online. Look at that. That is professional. That is pro. I give credit to whoever did that. But that is awesome. See, as you can see, and that's free, copyright free, so you can use it in what you want. So, guys, check these two websites out. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and favorite on my videos by going to my channel page, which you can check out. Obviously, just please check out guys' new videos. And what I want you guys to do is request in the comments below for what video you want on this next time. I don't know, what type of tutorial do you want? Do you want me to colour something in, teach you how to do black and white? I don't know, whatever you want. This channel is made for you guys, so I can help you guys out. Cheers for that. Like, favourite, subscribe. It really helps me out. Awesome.